involved with mentor education in its inception in 17 years and certainly the online education space and the way it's delivered has changed a lot since then. I mean, students who go on to take an online course on today, certainly through mentor education, what does their online experience look like and, and what are some of the requirements, certainly from their end, to engage the best way they possibly can? Well, thanks, James. Right at the beginning, you know, if I go back all the way to 2002, 2003, We've always been focused on student needs and student outcomes. And right at the beginning, I really wanted to make sure that our course material was concise, easy to understand. Assessments were intuitive. You know, didn't have to scratch your head and think, you know, what is it that people want? Understand the amount of work that was required for each of the assessments. Make sure we had good support. That's two major points. One, on choosing the course, making sure it's the right course for you. So we've got a really highly skilled education advice team that really wants to know what your outcomes are and help you decide, look at the options and decide what is the very best course for me to achieve my objectives over the timeline or the time frame. The next stage, of course, is once you enrol, you've got access to learning management system, which you can see in front of you. It needs to be intuitive, easy to understand. But look, when you do get stuck and you need support, it's there for you. And equally, when you submit something, Right? You want some feedback. Equally, you want, you know, if you need to improve in a particular area, you want to just understand how that's going to be done. So, look, it's really about making sure that the student experience throughout the whole student life cycle is a quality one at each one of the touch points, each one of the moments where, you know, sometimes you can get frustration. We work really hard to try to reduce those points. Doesn't mean we've got it perfect. You know, it's, you know, we're always really keen to get feedback from students where we can improve in different areas. Over the 17 years, we've gone from distance learning really to online learning probably as quickly as we possibly could. There's a lot of learning, a lot of lessons we've learned along the way, and we've incorporated that in a really good student experience. And yeah, I think we're really pretty proud of the process and it gives good outcomes. You know, the completion rate that we've got for our programs is pushing on the 90%, which is really quite exciting. And equally, the job outcomes, which means that the courses are relevant, you know, and it's what the industry wants and it, it helps achieve our goals of you know, promotion or pay increase or, or moving into a new role or starting your own business, they're being achieved. So it's a great process. We make it really flexible. We allow people to start different times depending on the program. Sometimes we do work in cohorts starting at a particular intake time, but, you know, we do try to make it flexible and we do give good support. Excellent. And I think what's great about the online learning experience through Mentor is the LMS or the learning management system, as it's called. And really all you need is a reasonable internet connection, a laptop, a browser, you know, something like Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever it may be. You log into a website and all of the information in your assessments are there for you. If you're commuting or, you know, there might be times that you want to do a little bit of reading in bed or on the couch, it does also link in with your uh, tablet or your phone there as well. So, I mean, certainly the laptop is going to be the preferred platform or the PC for typing up assignments or whatever it may be. But certainly being able to do the reading on multiple devices is a real advantage there as well when it comes to the online learning experience. And what's more, you can do it in your own time and that could be three in the morning or 10 o'clock at night.